welcome to Audacious Devotionals. My name is Junior Angel and this is my wife, Alison Angel, and we are Central Campus. Yes, Church, we are in a season of believing for big miracles and faith. And so we're delighted to bring this devotional um, to you today. And uh, just while you're grabbing your Bible and getting yourself comfortable, um, I want to share with you the scripture for today which is Proverbs 3, chapter 5 to 6. It's one that I'm sure you're already familiar with, but to me, we can never be reminded too many times of this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. So good. that I love that. Mm. It's particularly relevant isn't it for yes, us it not is. just in our lives but in our marriage so junior is going to explain <laughs> okay so basically um three years into our marriage um we hit turbulent times mm -hmm. a rocky patch and it was very it was rocky more than a rocky patch. <laughs> okay right <laughs> devastation so okay it was rocky um <laughs> we'd, we'd separated for a year um um <laughs> we felt we, we thought that we did, we've dealt with conflict um, and communication. We had loads of is issues that were in the marriage that we couldn't deal with. Um, so we issued divorce proceedings. Mm. Um, and basically, we were thinking that it was just over. Mm. I rang Ali one day out of the blue. Um, she actually picked up the call. <laughs> we talked for a little bit we agreed to meet a week after and by then we moved back in and everything was back on mm. um, and basically um, I think what it happened if you didn't know the victual that was going on in, in the marriage something in us changed and basically that was our miracle mm. something had shifted yeah our hearts really Mm. had shifted which um were repaired during a season of um individual time with god and you know apart from what apart from one another on paper as junior said it, it everything looked like it was over and it was particularly troublesome because we'd already actually been down this route we'd already been divorced prior to meeting yeah. each other hadn't we yeah. um but yeah god did something amazing in us and we before long we're learning new skills how to relate to one another how to see yeah. our differences as good things uh, we even got invited to start speaking at um, a marriage seminar on the very topic of uh, <laughs> yes. conflict resolution and um, that's why I'm saying lean not on your own understanding because yeah. um, who could have known oh, well only God could have known yeah. that during all of that mess and destruction and heartbreak all over again god was actually preparing us for something greater yeah. um and so what we made it mean was not actually what it meant um so if i said to you what does two plus two equal i would say four you would say four uh what if you would say 22 because two plus two side by side it depends doesn't it on how yeah. i frame the question what your interpretation of it is because it perspective. comes down to perspective yeah and like four is not wrong and neither is 22 there's yeah. room for both um but disagreeing well is yeah. is a real skill to learn and yeah. so i'm pleased that we've well we're on the way to mastering it we still have odd times don't we yeah but, but we can disagree we can and disagreement is good because iron sharpens iron and so as we, you know, bring this devotion to a close shortly and we do a prayer, I just want to encourage you, if you're in a place of angst, wrestle, not understanding what God is doing in your life, questioning, doubting even, you know, um, I hope our story, short as it is, because there's so much more that's gone on, um, has just given you um, a moment to reflect on and maybe believe again and go to a deeper level of trust with yes. with our God because he's worthy yes so yeah do you want to do a little prayer a little prayer I'll do a little prayer 
Father God, mm. we are thankful that you are here in the midst of us, especially when we are married, mm. and that you will work on our hearts. And as Ali said, iron does sharpen iron. And with that work that we both go through, Lord, that you are guiding us, shifting our perspective. And we're just so thankful for that. And we pray for those that are going through shifting of perspectives, mm. that, that we are gentle with each other and that we can get to a place where we are good and being at peace. Mm -hmm. with ourselves amen amen thank you church uh, we will see you soon no doubt around um central campus or online again but for now from the angels bye bye, bye, -bye. take care <laughs>